Hi, I'm John Cromie, co-founder of Atlas Load Bearing Equipment. On behalf of Matt Coleman and Michael Bocconi, I'd like to thank you for your purchase of Attack Plate Modular System Generation 2. Let's take a couple minutes to step through the process of setting up your tack plate with your duty belt rig. As you remove the tack plates from the box, you'll notice that two of them, the two of them are strapped together using the four straps. These straps are fully reusable, adjustable, and they'll replace the zip ties. Uh, you'll notice that we've also completely buckled them up. Uh, pay attention to how the strap is connected. Uh, it's important that you duplicate that when you actually attach it to your duty gear. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and unstrap these. Just pull, pull the first loop out and it becomes a strap adjuster, and then you, so you'll be left with four of these individually. You can set this aside, move on to the set that we already have open here. So you now have two tack plates and four strap adjusters. First thing I'd like to do is highlight some of the differences between the Generation 1 and the Generation 2. Right off you notice that it's a much, it's a much lower profile. We've eliminated the top edge. Uh, this was prone to pinching between the top of the tack plate and the vest, and so it was eliminated. This helps retain an overall lower, pro lower visual profile. Uh, we've also recessed uh, this area right here. This helps uh, relieve some of the pressure that the tack plate exerted on the top of the leg while sitting in the patrol car. What that means, though, is that these tack plates are now uh, not the same part. There is a right and a left, and it's important that the that the recess for the leg goes forward on the body. So this is the this will be the right hand. Similarly, this will be the left hand. In addition to the overall shape changes that we've made to the tack plate, you also notice that there is a a rubberized coating on the outside of them now. Now this gets away from the carbon fiber look. But rest assured, this is still made of the same carbon fiber. In fact, it's a higher quality now. Uh, the reason for this is uh, wear resistance and abrasion. Many officers will put keys, uh, metal fittings uh, on the inside of their duty belt and we found that that was wearing on the carbon. So we came back and decided to make this a much more robust, uh, much more durable product and so you'll see this uh, extremely durable rubberized coating. Integration of the tack plates is fairly straightforward. You'll notice the elimination of the base plates. So all we have to do now is strap this tack plate to the inside of your duty belt on the right side and the left side and we'll, we'll strap it in loosely, get it fitted, and then tighten it down in place. I'll step through that process. All right, when integrating the tack plate, it's important to keep the center of the plate over the outside seam of your pants, and so find where that is on your belt and line it up. Uh, tack plate goes just behind. In this case, I'm gonna keep the cuff case off the back. Uh, we'll move these two pieces of uh, equipment into the middle, and I'll put this piece forward. And now you take a strap, uh, the small part of the rivet, goes out and to the thin side and that goes up and then we wrap this around through one of the holes, uh, pick whichever hole is convenient and this just works like a simple strap adjuster. And then we'll pull that reasonably tight, we won't fit, we're not finished with that yet but we'll come back to it. Take the other one, uh, line up approximately where you want it, same deal, over the top. Back up underneath through the hole, through the wide side. Through the short side, and you, pull, and you pull it reasonably tight, okay? Now from the back, you can see how we're strapped on. You get a continuous Velcro surface, but we also have these awkward tabs sticking up. We're gonna deal with those in just a second. This is how you wanna work with it while you're adjusting it, moving it around. Uh, sliding it all to where you want it. Uh, after you have it in the position that you want, you're done moving your gear, take this, come back through the wide side, pull it tight, that'll effectively lock it, and just drop the tail back through the hole. Same deal up here. Pull it through, that locks it, and then drop the tail. So now that we have two tack plates integrated with the duty belt, you can see the strap to the inside. You can see that it strikes a very low visual profile on the outside, almost no visibility down here, and depending on where you have your cuff case, almost none in the back. Notice it's flush with the top as well. Okay? These should be straight opposite of one another for where this is going to sit on your body, so uh, let's go ahead and get sorted out where we want to have it. The way I like to line it up, take your strong side and set your holster right where you want it. Attach the Velcro, and this side just wraps around. Just let it sit where it's going to sit. And 
and buckle in. Now you may notice that the tack plates have a little thickness, and if you were riding your belt really tight to begin with, you will probably need to loosen this buckle by one notch. All right. Now we get an opportunity to see how it feels. Take stock, take your time, make sure everything's comfortable. Look for anything pinching you, jabbing you. It should be real obvious right away if the tack plates are working or they're not working. If you feel too much pressure on, on your hips, bias the tack plates back just slightly. Uh, if, if everything just feels too tight, go ahead and loosen your belt. What you should feel is a very solid connection on the sides, and it should be very free in the front and the back. And that about wraps up the integration into your duty belt. Uh, you should feel lighter, you should feel, your belt should feel, feel more stable. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear the stories of how your tack plates are working for you, uh, the difference that they're making in your life. Uh, those are very encouraging to us, and we would greatly appreciate that feedback. Once again, thank you for your purchase of the Generation 2 tack plate system. Thank you for your service to our communities. Stay safe.